Hello, Mitch. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss one more interesting topic that is GraphQL and with .NET Core 6.0 and Hot Chocolate. So before starting the session, guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification. And if you ended up liking my video, give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. So what is GraphQL? We already know the REST API, right? So let's see what is GraphQL. GraphQL was developed by Facebook, which first began using it for mobile application in 2012 or 2012. The GraphQL specification was open source in 2015. It is now overseen by the GraphQL Foundation. GraphQL is designed to make API fast, flexible, developer friendly. It can even de deploy within an integrated development environment known as GraphQL. It is an alternative to REST. GraphQL lets developer construct the request and pull the data from multiple sources in a single API call. We will see how we do. The biggest difference between GraphQL and REST is the manner in which the data is sent to the client. In REST architecture, the client makes an HTTP request and data is sent to the HTTP response. While in GraphQL, the client requests data in queries. GraphQL allows for content negotiation in which you will only have to have only one endpoint. It also allows you to query for the exact field you want. On the back end, you can grab the data from the different data source. So there is def definitely is a good reason to be excited for the front end developer as well as the back end developer. So let's see. We have created a table which contains product, product core, product name, category, price, top quantity, vendor ID. And I mapped to my controller here, created a web API get products. Where I am here, you can see in the swagger, if I am executing, I am getting the product code. But let's say what GraphQL actual the main advantage, it remove the under data and over data from the endpoint and also it minimize our endpoint list. So let's say this is one API I created. I'm getting all the product data, but one more client will come and he will ask, okay, I need only product name and price and stock quantity. I don't need this much of data and I need by product name ascending order. So every, let's say one more client will come. Okay. I need product code and, and, and stock quantity. I don't need the, any, any other things. So what again, we need to write one more API for that. So developer need to modify the code again and again. So this is called over code, over data or under data. Like I'm, I'm expecting something. I'm getting much more data, some other data I'm getting. So to overcome this kind of uh, developmental and managemental issue, actually uh, GraphQL help a lot. So for this kind of scenario, let's implement GraphQL to our application. So let's open NuGet package. In NuGet package, actually I am writing hotchocolate.asp.net, ASP.NET Core. Okay, hot chocolate is an extension for GraphQL to use in .NET Core. So I'm installing this ASP.NET Core. Let's install this application, this NuGet package. We have to accept the agreement. Okay, we never read that agreement. I believe no one ever read. Only the guy who is retained this agreement, only that guy is reading that one. Okay, we got installed. Now, we need to go to our Solution Explorer. Here, we need to add one more folder called Queries or GraphQL Query. So, I am adding here. So this query I am adding here. So I am adding a class inside this query. And let's say I am giving the class name as product data. 
और प्रोडक्ट डाटा राइट इट विल आल्सो रिटर्न द सेम थिंग व्हाट इज माय एपीआई इज डूइंग द सेम थिंग विल विल डू बाय दिस प्रोडक्ट डाटा वी नीड दिस टीबीएल का uh, एंटिटी फ्रॉम आवर कॉन्टेक्स्ट ओके and now we need a using statement okay i am using entity from our core db context here now let's go to program.cs file here we need to write builder.services. or graphql server dot r query type Inside my query type, I am passing this product data or product query, the class name. Right? We need a using statement here. Done. Now, before running the application, I am using app dot map graphql. Inside this, I am giving a URL. Let's say graphql. Okay. Now we have added our NuGet NuGet package ASP dot ASP.NET hot chocolate dot ASP.NET core. Added a class which is we are writing the same list in the program dot CS file. We are we have added this particular builder dot service dot R GraphQL server dot R query type. Here we are passing our product product data this class. Next we are running map dot app dot map graphql inside this we are giving a url let's run the application and see so you can see our application get run this is our api we are checking through our pawn api or swagger but we have given a url that url is map graphql and this is the url okay i put it a wrong spelling okay so it is a banana cupcake or banana cake cake of ui to manage your or to operate your graphql queries so here create a document so this is my endpoint subscription endpoint so you can see this is my query so if i go and type here queries and if i give here products i am giving product code and product name guys forgive about the background noise okay i just need now you can see i need product code product name what i can do i can again assign some sorry i can call some column like i need only price i need only stock quantity so if i run so i created only one api and here it is there right and i no need of created more api to get the record but here you can see we are not getting ascending descending how we can do that one either you can write here order product name ascending The argument order does not exist. Why? We need to add one more new get package. That is dot entity framework. Hot chocolate dot data dot entity framework. Install this application. Next, we need to okay. It got installed. Next, here we need to add our this method will be. use projection and this method will be used for filtering and this method will be used for sorting right now let's go to program.cs here we can add like 
R projections dot R filtering dot R sorting done this thing is done we have added our projections filtering and sorting in our service level configurations in our class also we have attributed our method next run the application and see our sorting is working or not so our swagger got run now here we have our URL is graph QL. So banana cupcake cut run. So you can see now same we have previously given order. It was not run. So now see the same thing. It must work, right? So we can give order by price also. It will come ascending. So, I hope you must got an idea how to use GraphQL with hot chocolate in our .NET Core Web API. Guys, if you like this video, give this a like and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.